finally we come. All right, my first guest. First guest is a good friend, and uh, I've been laughing at Buddy Hackett for 25 or 30 years, and he opens at the Concord on December 30th, and then he'll be at Caesars in Atlantic City on the 31st. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Buddy Hackett. <laughs> First of all... Hiya, Doc. Hiya, guys. Hey, buddy. What a surprise you didn't tell me you won the Masters. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to play in the Masters. Oh. <laughs> Do you ever see me play golf? We played together many years ago. I had just taken it up. I didn't take golf up until, uh, like, 1964, 65. We went to... Englewood Country Club. Englewood Country Club. Yeah. You played better than I did. Well, yeah. if you want to recall what happened that day, it was terrific. I had six pars in a row, and we come to the seventh hole was a water hazard, and I made a bogey, one over. Now, I had never played that good in my life. And I looked at John, and I said, you're bad luck, and I threw my clubs in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wondering, how good does this guy play? Yeah. He's one over par. <laughs> I get it. But I knew I could never keep it up or anything yeah. like that. You still play? No, I don't. Well, I play once in a while, but... It just doesn't have the magic anymore. Yeah. I used to be able to hit the ball for my size about 230, 235 yards. was not bad. Yeah, then I started hitting about 220. Then I got down to around 209. And then just around 200. And I'm getting crazy. And I flew to see Jimmy Demerit, who's great. passed away last right. year. One of the great golfers. Three-time winner of the Masters. Twice runner up in the Open. Oh, I'm, and he was... And I... He was the guy who used to talk with first southern talk like accent. That, right. Yes, he used to say. I once said to him, Is golf better than booze and broads? And he looked at me and said, Well, young fella, I've been playing golf, man and boy, for 34 years <laughs> to get money for booze and broads. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and that, that was. He and was I, nice man. I went to see Jimmy. I flew to Champions Golf Course in Houston. Right. And I said, Jimmy said, What's the matter, old Podsy? What's the matter, Podsy boy? You like that Southern yeah, talk? I liked it. <laughs> I learned in the Army, Southern. I was from Brooklyn. I didn't know. First time I heard Southern talk, I thought we were captured. I didn't know what that <laughs> That's hard, you dick. All off that track. <laughs> what? I said, huh, don't you hurt me, you dumb New York-looking song. Don't you tell me that, fuck. <laughs> I said, I'm in the Army three minutes. I'm in Japan. How did I do it? <laughs> anyway, he put his arm around me. He said, old Podsy, what's the matter, Podsy? I said, I don't hit the ball as far as I used to. He said, old Pods, don't none of us hit the ball as far as we used to. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm here tonight. I want to ask you one question. Oh, go ahead. Your mother, did she call you up or call you Buddy, or did she call you Leonard? Did she ever get around to calling you buddy? Bum. <laughs> bum. Come on now. Yes, bum. I said, I'll make you a deal. Don't call me a bum. I won't tell anybody you're my mother. <laughs> Did she always call you Leonard? My mother came to see me in Bill Miller's Riviera. All right. I said, you come to see me in a nightclub. She says, what's it like, a nightclub? I said, it's like a catered affair, like a wedding. So she baked a honey cake and brought a loaf. <laughs> Now, in my act, I used to talk about my folks. I talked about my mom. I said, my mother, she stood her, that's me, here, I'm the mother. And that was the end of me, I finished. Wiped out, canceled, and that's it. Yeah. She said, what's the matter, they didn't like you. <laughs> anyway, I'm here tonight. Yes. To talk about the First Amendment. Uh-huh. I am not, con I'm not a real citizen. And including with Freddie and this show, a three-letter word meaning the rear end of a person. I am not allowed to say it on this show. That's correct. You say it once in a while and get away once in a while. No, they President don't. Carter said it about a senator, and he got away with it. And I'm not allowed to say it. George Bush also said it about Geraldine uh, Ferraro. Yeah. Not on this show, So though. I don't... Am I not a citizen? <laughs> of course just, you're a citizen. Do, do I have to get elected before I can say rah-rah-bah? No, no. Okay. <laughs> I have to say buttocks. 
Buttocks is accepted. Buttocks is accepted, but the jokes don't work. You say, a blind man is walking across a boulevard with a dog. And it gets to an island, and the guy says, Sir, I know you're blind. Is that your seeing eye dog? Yes. That dog nearly got you killed. That dog nearly got you destroyed. That dog, you just were lucky. He says, really? He says, yes. He reached in his pocket. He took out a cookie. He said, dog nearly killed you. You're going to give him a cookie? He said, I just want to find his head so I can kick him in the buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> it loses. That dog no, no, it nearly loses. got him killed. He should have kicked him in his... <laughs> First Amendment. For heaven's sake. Here. Uh, the a First man... Amendment. First Amendment does not give you the right to cry in a crowded theater. <laughs> Even if it's on fire. That's right. <laughs> I like when you get crazy like I already <laughs> yeah. am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. A man takes a lady. You told me this. A man takes no, no, a lady. No, stay with stay with the buttocks. Yes, okay. buttocks. All right. I ain't gonna say that way no okay. more. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and incidentally, you don't have to just because I'm coming out mention cabbage patch. <laughs> <laughs> I knew right away what you meant. <laughs> Did you first? Last two shows, I don't look like Cary Grant, and today, just out of left field. Cabbage Patch, there was no payoff, no, no job, you nothing get, to it. You don't get a royalty at all? <laughs> <laughs> they offered to rebuttock my face. Now, you see, Cabbage Patch dolls are lovable, they're cuddly. Yeah. That's, that's the whole thing. Okay. All right. A man takes a lady mm -hmm. into an old... Colonial cemetery. <laughs> Does he now? To perform an act of love. Good, good. On the old flat tombstone. Very good. And therein, they do perform an act of love, love indeed. <laughs> the next day, she complained of a backache. Backache. Pain. Pain in the back. He took her to the orthopod, the doctor, <laughs> who said to her, Would you disrobe? <laughs> and she disrobed. He said, would you turn around? She turned around. He said, how old are you? She said, 28. Why? He says, it says on your buttocks you died in 1784. <laughs> it says on your buttocks. It's still... It says on your buttocks. It's just plainly written on a... We're, we're going to be right back. Stay where you are. Welcome back. Welcome to Password. <laughs> well, I think you made. I think you made a good point there. My my son Sandy, you know, uh, he doesn't use any other kind of material yeah. I, I do. You know, because that HBO show I did, you know, it's so free. Yes, it and is. All, all, in fact, I just signed Earthy, a deal with word. HBO. I signed a deal for $6 million uh, with HBO. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, this is the first they're hearing about. <laughs> No, I certainly just, would like them to sign. If you can, sign. Get, if you can <laughs> get them to sign, <laughs> just sign a two-picture deal, right? Okay. Sign, right? <laughs> My son Sandy told me a story. He says, a duck walked into a drugstore. Now, the only drugstore I know is where a girl, seven or eight years old, walked into a druggist and said, I'd like to buy some tampons. And the drug, druggist said to her, you would? She said, not for me, they're for my brother. For your brother? Yes, for my brother. I was reading the advertisement and it said, with tampons you can ski, you can ride a bicycle, you can swim, and my brother can't do any of those things. <laughs> So, but, but <laughs> Sandy told me that uh, a man, a, a, duck, duck, a duck, a duck, yeah, a duck walked into the drugstore and said, I'd like some chapstick. And the guy said, well, is it, uh, will this be charge or cash? He said, just put it on my bill. <laughs> 
Oh, sure. Sure. Four winners now, and they booed. Now, let me ask you a question. I have another buttock story, which I think <laughs> we, we should get to immediately. And also, I want to tell you, the reason I blame my own child for that joke is because I didn't trust it. He never heard the joke, but I figure he's young, he can take the pain. That's right. <laughs> What's the other joke? Now? The other joke is a father in New Orleans. Now, New Orleans is a different type of southern accent than the one I did before. That's Texas, the other one, yeah. The other southern one was Texas. Texas. Yeah, this right. is New Orleans. <laughs> and there's a, a father and he's got a four-year-old and a six-year-old. And it took him for something to eat. <laughs> and the waitress said to the six-year-old, what do you have, sugar? <laughs> he said, I have a goddamn cheeseburger. <laughs> and his daddy hit him right alongside the head, knocked him out the chair. <laughs> and the waitress tried to cover up. I said to the foyer, what do you have, honey? He says, you bet your sweet buttocks I ain't ordering no dang cheese. <laughs> We're gonna take a break here, and uh, <laughs> but we're gonna come back, folks. <laughs>